1995 was a very interesting year for movies. Disney was destroying the box office with Toy Story sitting at the top and Pocahontas sitting somewhere in the middle. Also, the year saw the release of Batman Forever and Die Hard with a Vengeance to complete their movie trilogies. Also, James Bond made his iconic return to the silver screen in GoldenEye. However, there was one film that starred three actors in unexpected roles. Hello, my name is Eli McKegg, and the movie I'm going to be talking about today is Too Long Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. The movie stars Patrick Swayze, Wesley Snipes, and John Leguizamo as three drag queens from New York that get stuck in the small town of Snydersville while trying to make it to California for the Miss Drag Queen of, of America pageant. Now, the movie is, has a very simple, very simple pre premise that three, two drag queens win a tournament and they go across on a road trip while taking their young protege, played by John Leguizamo, but the car breaks down in this small town of Snydersville and they are forced to wait days before their car even gets back to work. Now, you would think such a premise would be very strange for three actors such as these, but no, they take it and they run with it. And it's a very funny turn that they have. As you watch it, you forget that Patrick Swayze even is a straight male. He has all the nuances of a dra actual drag queen and even uses changes his voice to fit the role that he has. And instead of just playing it as a full-on comedy that you could possibly do and over-exaggerate over -exaggerate what you do in your mannerisms and your voice, Patrick Swayze plays the role straight as he is sort of the main lead of the film and all the nuances that he has with the simple way that he holds his wrist and the way he says certain words, it shows that he really did do a lot of work in re and research to make sure that this role was what it should be and taken seriously. Wesley Snipes is the funny one though. He is, though not the funniest in the movie, he is still able to deliver a great performance to the point where I forgot that Wesley Snipes was even remotely an action star. It got to the point where I forgot that this was even Wesley Snipes and to be honest, I didn't think of him as Wesley Snipes, the manly man action star. No, I thought of him as Wesley Snipes, the drag queen. And that's how funny he was with the performance. And he, though he played sort of the stereotypical character and how you would stereotypically play it, he was able to make the role fit with the film and with the story that was being played. And I thought that he delivered a great performance. John Leguizamo was the weakest of the three, I must admit. But though he was the weakest, he still delivered a great performance with his role because he was playing the more younger of the three characters. And though he also played the stereotype very heavily, he was the Latina, la, hola loca chicha, that's sort of the character that he played. And though it was a stereotype, he still made it work with his character. And three, all three of them combined with Patrick Swayze playing the straight the, uh, straight, uh, playing the straight, char straight character, as in playing it serious, Wesley Snipes playing a little bit of a stereotype, and John Leguizamo also playing the stereotype, you had a great performance, and the three had great chemistry together with Wesley Snipes and Patrick Swayze's character knowing each other from the past, but nonetheless, it was still a great performance. Overall, the plot was a little weak in certain points, where you were just thinking to yourself, okay, I want to progress the story, I don't like that they are constantly banging me against the head of, oh, get it, the three people are gay, they are drag queens, ha ha ha, get it, get it, you need to learn how to not use this as a platform to not like these people. No, that was getting annoying throughout some of the movie, especially with the character actor Chris Penn's character, who was the sheriff that was vehemently against gay people. But throughout the entire movie, I occasionally would forget about that with the supporting cast in the small town because they ignored the fact that these were three men dressed as females. They used it as these were just three females. But in the end, the film was a very hysterical film. I thought to myself, I love what this movie is doing. I want to see more. So overall, I give this film a one thumb up and you should most definitely see it. And if you want to watch more, just subscribe to Mr. Eli Mack on YouTube. 
Thank you so much. I'm Eli McKagan. That was Too Wong Fu. Thanks for everything. Julie Newmar.